Hello and welcome as we are entering Crypto Day, 22nd of May 2018. This video will cover 20 alternate coins. I'm going to do so relatively quickly. Some that I like, vast majority that are bearish. There are some interesting ones that I will not talk about, like ZEC, that I passed on. For in this case, this looks very bearish as the market has what we look at a double top but you really need to see more time frame so if you go like three hours oh so it's like a triple top you go to this high go to this low to this high to this low to this high and it's back to this low and now it's got the low vol to move problem here is that it is under overextended on the downside and even often times here you can uh come back and hit an okay rally even maybe up to this line and I often do believe that it's okay to buy in the situation and, and when I say that I don't believe in buying here but buying is in if you go to a key level that even though it's been hit a few times as long as you had a good rally from your last hit which was the case you should at least get a half-assed rally but there is all this empty gap space, but I wouldn't risk betting for this to go lower is why I won't cover it. And DGB is one that I was like, man, this looks pretty good to the upside. As we look at this on the daily chart time frame, it's another one I'm not going to cover. But I think with something like this, if you see this starting to hold and stay above around 500, 498, definitely momentum breaking about 532, 533, then this has a good upside target. But for now... It is uh, at the 18 average of high, so it's well overextended amongst the uh, very short term time frame and since this high. Uh, it's had much consolidation amongst uh, 489, which hasn't been able to get over, so I wouldn't be a buyer at this point. So then, now let's go over the 20. I'm going to start off with the ones that I either like or I think uh, is close to having a good setup. And of course, everything's always within your own risk, own reward. Zen coin, and this is all crosses against Bitcoin. It's managed to get above the uh, 18 average within such. This is uh, currently its third day in a row. I think its day could definitely extend its gains. We take a look at this on a shorter term time frame, like the 400 minute. Notice this uh, green candle in here. Price action spikes up, comes back, and it's been uh, making it uh, up close to its point three hour when you see these extra moves well first of all you can um, just notice how interesting this whole pattern here looks and then what occurred after the fact but when you see lower period moves like this and then all of a sudden something like this transpire well you want to take a look at shorter term time frame so you can take a look at the last like seven eight periods and more candles so then let's go even 15 minutes. What do we see? Ooh. Go this high, you come back, you correct well. Then it comes up and it rallies just a little bit, but the sell off comes back to this level of resistance. And then we have high volume on the buy. And then it's consolidating on low volume, back to the 18 average, green candle not quite as big a volume but still this overall set of volume is very good this thing looks as if it's leaving the well, it's definitely leaving the uh, fifth uh, on the 18 average on i was looking at this on bid tracks and this just caught this caught i made a video on this because i'm like man the setup is so good so i quickly checked some other ones but 30 minute time frame it looks as if this thing is ready to go as far as some targets for such well, you can definitely go back to this previous high, which is in at around uh, 466 as a near-term target. And if we expand this, this is a magnificent situation if it can get above the near-term target. Because that near-term target is major, major resistance. Once, twice, three times, four times. What happened after each correction? Well, you came down here, in fact, then up to here. Then from this move in here, fall down here. This one comes down here. 
this one comes down here and if this and if you have a spot where you have all those resistance tests and you have a, a correction like this that has a higher low to this magnitude a price correction in more than like four or five six periods this one was nice in a multiple amount that if it ends up having that type of break it we've seen these kinds of up periods where they can go up really fast whether it happens in two days maybe it's a span of like uh a 20-day period 16 of them up and it just goes up to monstrous levels it wouldn't surprise me that something like that could be coming into play so let's take a look at a little bit of the risk reward of course the reward we've just seen uh and uh how what's the uh, possible downside levels this could go to be even bullish and within such we can uh, take a look at this again say on a shorter term time frame that I would think you look at some of these moves like uh, this uh, three hour, maybe even the single hour. Because a single hour, if you see any weakness amongst this, then you just want to get out. I don't. I wouldn't give a stop. I wouldn't play stop loss, although I never do. But what I say for myself, if I was to stop loss, that's just where I would sell. But if situation like this, I need to see weakness amongst those sixty minute. But right now, this is a very bullish. Uh, breakout pattern so I got three more to go over on the uh, good side and I'm going to talk about factum which is having its second day now correcting going sideways within this up move that occurred let's take a look at this on sh uh, shorter term time frame because it's well overextended still to the point that the 18 average of lows is now one area I'll be looking for support it's well above that point 400 minute time frame though look at this interesting situation this is this is what caught catches my eye you have the decline and i like to use a time frame where i can see the story works really well within such and i can see in here that the 18 has been tough police or tough resistance in this down move so then the 18 in here finds a higher low support gets above it i like how it's came back if i can see some nice further momentum getting above here definitely any move around this point in here a break above such i think this could have some nice further gains and continuing up that uh, continuing further a lot of times what i like to look for is uh situations where if it's getting close and then I'm just going to, and this won't be the case, but if it's getting close, um, maybe you might want to get in early, meaning if you see it's holding and staying above here for like, and this is an hour time frame, so maybe a couple, three hours, then maybe you can get in at a little cheaper. But uh, I, this is something normally I'd like to see get above it because if it does break below the support or if you're trying to find a cheaper price for the same thing, uh, I would be looking for a move to come down to that line. And I got a note to look at REP at the 60 minute time frame, which is what I'm going to, which is what I'm on right now. So that works out. Same thing. Exactly the same thing. You're looking at a situation of the uh, this uh, market, which has been great resistance for such. There's been a couple attempts in getting above it, but you want to see how it stays and holds on a breakout. So it got above here. It didn't stay above it, the 18 for long, even less time here. So now the last uh, hour, it's gotten above this 18. It's now came back. So just like this, if I can see a break above this level of resistance as it's coming through, then maybe something to look for on the long side. SYS will be next and uh, this is the last one that I see in a, any kind of bullish situation on the daily time frame. This is just a magnificent pattern when you have uh, the uh, eight, the, well, you have two times support hit here. So there's a move hit twice to this point in here. So now we've had a few days within such. If we look at this on, say, a 400-minute time frame, this is what it all comes down to now because the range is majorly defined in that, uh, well, you can see the support, you can see the resistance. And what you need to uh, either A, look for a clear break, which number you take, A, do you choose somewhere around 5587, which is above the majority of the recent resistance. Do you go above this line? I would normally prefer somewhere around 50, 
Somewhere around in here, if you see this above 5591, especially more so if you see it hold and stay above 5400 for more than um, three quarters of a day, then that would be something I would like to consider. So now let's look at some ones that look really bearish or have bearish setups. And when the ratio is this many negative ones to positive ones, that just shows you that the state of the crypto market cap will probably be going lower through the night. But the daily time frame, Bitcoin Cash broke down below the 18 average of lows. We can see the last green candle came up to the 18, uh, to the resistance point. Red candle falling off of it right now. And when we shorten this out, it is showing a lot of weakness. Uh, again, we can see this little level so, so short term is leaving its 18 average. And on the single hour time frame, the level of support from earlier today is being resisted. So I think this one's going to head lower. Dash is next on the list. So let's bring that one up next. And as we can see within this, it had its nice little rally on April up past this line came back down a little bit of a higher low from this point about a 61 percent correction and uh, comes back to a nice little rally again to the 18 highs but we can see it's been correcting very poorly within the lows it had the down days towards this area in here from may the 16th to the 18th a little pause day at the 19th and then it broke down below it in yesterday's session continuing further it's right at this level of support so definitely a lot of cautionary points as say stuff like the three hour time frame this is just not an ideal time to get into a short position in this uh, but sometimes if you're looking for moves up towards the 18 i wouldn't be surprised if it does rally from here to the blue air blind either to the lows or even up to the highs and then roll over from there but because on the daily term time frame i see it's coming back to this level of support it wouldn't surprise me if uh, it does do what you would expect an inverted cup and handle to do and that's break down to the previous low and within such this could easily even extend up to like back even a lower high to here and still be bearish because uh, just something to think about not a lot of these setups do have uh, some eek situations to them as well uh, next coin is poly 400 minute time frame because it was just not enough data to do a daily for poly And within such, this is just uh, a nice bull run, but is it running out of steam? For you have uh, this little, you have these lows in here, you have this high, you have this high, this high, this low, lower high, lower low, lower high. The 18 average went flat here, small leg lower, and has continued to have another little bit of a flat bit of movement. When we take a look at the key area of support, it has to be a rectangle now because of uh, the areas that it's basically hit twice at this area and then this one. But we can see it had a green candle up in yesterday's section already being rejected. And when we see this on the single hour time frame, this, if this move right now fails and it's it's in a high intense situation if you enjoy watching curling you've given back way too much from this point to this point on here now it's got a decent sized green candle move so i normally would expect uh, the 18 to be level of resistance or if I wanted to enter into a position as I'm seeing this and I'm waiting for a price to go a little bit higher to get a better short position, maybe I'd even enter it now or maybe try to push a little harder to get this 18 average of high, uh, highest price on the single hour time frame. But because it's given back too much, if this tells me this move here is a failed one within such here, then everything that I talk about from the intro on whether this running out of gas being very near this support wouldn't surprise me if the answer would be yes and it would fill some of this gap in here.
cannabis is next and I want to go through them as quick as possible but I want to also explain this the best that I can I know if you watch a lot of these videos then you're pretty much gonna expect a lot of the things that I'm talking about but this one in here is definitely a bearish pattern this level here of support has had this descending triangle has pretty much gotten to that what I call the expected D day decision day point which is the end of a pattern like a symmetrical triangle. This market had a key level of support. What did it do when it left the 18 and the key level of support? It had a decent leg lower. Are we looking for yet another decent leg lower from here? Well, it looks like it's probably as far as greater than 50%. We take a look at this on a shorter term time frame, like the uh, 400 minute. This uh, really does give the indication that this could be happening pretty soon because we see this level of support meanwhile the 18 average during this run is sideways and here the 18 average starting to decline we're resisting an area here which was a primary support barrier and now it's been holding and staying below an area it held and stayed above the entire time so to me this thing looks as if it's ready to uh We'll go have a leg lower and the obvious spot in this case is previous low as the next one. Will it be a level of support? Maybe because the next level below that, well, these things got high volatility obviously. Doji coin will be next or however you pronounce it. To me, I don't pronunciation is not important. Uh, chart recognition and the numbers for such is. Level of support descending triangle we're basically around that decision day point and it looks as if it's probably got a better chance of going lower but it hasn't made its move yet if you see price action somewhere like around here then you can pretty much assume there's a good chance it's going to come down probably even closer to 36 to 37. next up will be that of pot coin pot and the same sort of thing here where you see a line of support that it's been there it's been support for quite some time but an obvious resistance line as well but just like the previous code that i showed what do we see here we see this primary level of support now being resistance for the last few periods indicating we're probably going to be headed for a decent sized down move before. Now, if there's ever one of those typical kind of moves, it's almost as if someone's doing this like purposely. I've seen failed move fast move as an obvious breakdown spot like this. Next thing you know, you're short and the mother, you know, what is up here? Because you get the failed breakdown first. And then if that happens, a good setup down. If it doesn't happen, big move up. Vice versa for a good setup up. Let's move on next, and we're going to take a look at Ripple, which is that of XRP. And this is a situation in which we've got this major level of support that's been entangling for the last uh, little over a week. It has been hugging the 18 average of lows for the last uh, four or five days. We take a look at this on a 400 minute time frame the last this is now the third period of a row it's just diddly daddling diddly daddling doing very little after a okay size red move but one that left the 18 average it's also at this area of key support that it was that just has not been traded much at showing me signs of potential weakness in an area for where it came from we have a previous uh, support level of 7,500 all the way up to about 7,777 as where I would expect the next leg lower from here. But it does look as if it's starting to roll over to do such. Next up on the list is CRW, which is that of Crown Coin. And Crown Coin on the daily chart, this is the situation you have the big green candle move up and you're doing so in a bear market to the 18 average and then it's becoming down 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 red candle day after another since the fifth consecutive down day there was a small green up to the 18 of lows 
pretty much small rejection amongst this uh, area, but just hanging and diddly daddling with the 18 lows like this at a key area for where it came from before. I would be looking for a leg lower to where it came from back in December, probably down below the 10,000 Satoshi mark. When we take a look at this on a shorter term time frame. You, uh, it's got a descending triangle, but if you're looking for key areas for it to break down, early conservative level to do so would be if it breaks below 13 or, uh, well, sorry, below that, but below this line, but barely above this point. But you'd really want to see it uh, noticeably below the uh, well, early, mid, few day lows from last week to uh, consider decent uh, moves even lower than that. Because when you make a new leg lower, you expect it to be by a decent amount. Dope will be next on the list, and it's not even the last uh, related sector coin. There'll be one more on top of that 400 minute time frame. You can just see the story here with this market going sideways, starting to fade under like it is on the daily. It's just showing to me as if this thing is ready to go down again. You have this large move lower, but what does it do? It just goes sideways, small green candle up, and it's been rejecting it really badly. It's at that key previous area of support. Where do we see price action going below this? Well, uh, I, I remember, I'm trying to go with my memory, but I believe, uh, well, obviously it came back to this 250 area, so... Uh, that's where I'd be looking for it to go is the 250 low as a possibility. That's pretty deep going lower. Let's go on to the next coin. It'll be that of Stratus, S-T-R-A-T. -T. Now within this, like, oh, this looks pretty good. We got a move, but... The reason why this is on the list is not because I think this is bearish, but whenever you see a decent rally occurring, if you're in a spot like this with a declining 18 average, you do not want to give any of the debt benefit of the doubt to the buyers unless they can earn, earn it. Guilty until proven innocent, and proven innocent is another way of saying they earn it. In the single hour time frame, this thing is just a soaring. So I'll be looking to sell if it goes up a little bit higher from there, maybe up towards the 18 average of highs. But I definitely am going to have a hard time believing a move like this unless it can show me something. Now, if it can make something like this uh, on, I, I want it even shorter than this, say on the three hour time frame. If it can hold and stay above, say, around the 70 handle for a good amount of periods and then maybe give me a nice little setup later after that, then that would change the story. But it's hard to believe this rally, especially when we see preceding this here, a move like this and then the follow through like that. If you want to play this for profits, a lot of times just play the numbers game. If you buy down in this this uh, leg lower here you're able to sell on this leg higher buybacks and now all the buybacks means you're in sell territory right now let's move on to the next code and there's six of them left civic will be next followed by litecoin and here's the spot with civic on the three hour time frame this is, okay you have the support have this rally and it's failing back to where it came from. Are we looking at a failed move, fast move? This did resist a key line, a key, which is indicative, indicative that this is my Fibonacci number of some sort. I can't even tell you, but it probably is. My memory just doesn't know. However, what do we see with the 18 in here? It leaves the 18 average of lows on May the 16th. A few days lower, comes up to the high, starting to go below it. When you look at the difference of this low and this high, you can see it has retraced more than 61.8%, which is from this low to this high. It needed to hold and, I mean, this low had to be a must hold, basically. 3,800 was a must hold, so it didn't hold. So this looks as if we're gonna have a leg lower. 
Let's move on to LTC, which is next, and it is also in a bearish situation as well. It has fallen below 160. I remember saying way, way back in here that, well, if we fall below here, we're probably going to go in the 160s. Not only did it go to the 160s, but it basically held and stayed within there for a bit of time. So you have this low that comes in after a rally attempt on May the 5th, goes to the 18 lows, rallies up to the highs, the average is flat. Then since it leaves the highs, red candle to the lows, half-assed rally, red candle back to the lows. Then it spends three days hugging the 18 average of lows, while yesterday's session it leaves it. So that's your bearish indicator right there, that there's a good chance that this is entering bear market territory. Confusing is trying to figure out how this is going to react in the sense of each one of these lows from the March lows to the ones in April and then the ones again in April and the ones in May, each one are barely higher until now. So as far as where price can go, this is a really interesting chart. I'm not going to make any predictions towards such. I've barely sold much of it at all, just enough to liquidate a 5% short portfolio. And I used only some of Litecoin and some of Bitcoin to do so. So I'm not, I'm holding, buying and holding. If it goes lower, I'll buy more. Just a little bit more though. Okay, next up is THC. And this is the last... Uh, hemp related coin and this isn't too too big in the sense but what do we see here that this move has held and stayed for a little bit below the 18 average 400 minute time frame we got a test within this move within the uh, 18 average of uh, highs is this doing anything big recently yes so on a bullish level if you can see it hold and stay above here, what you'd like to ideally see is for it to maybe spend a few hours to come back to this band. And then if it breaks above it, something like this. But again, this has been at a key somewhat level of support. This does look as if that this could very easily break down, but the volatility for where this came from last we're well, talking about uh, into uh, the 600s. Let's move on to the next code. I don't know why I showed this, but I guess I just did. Ethereum Classic will be what is next. And uh, let's bring it up. So you have the rally from April, starting April 7th from the low, making it to this high. Correctionary move in the 18 fails utterly. After failing the 18 test, it actually made lows not seen in quite some time, at least on the Bittrex exchange. Since coming from those lows, it's been just hovering and staying within the uh, 18 lows for quite some time. The last green candle up, which was at least an attempt to get to the 18 of highs or uh, get away from the under part of the line, well, you have a, it's been four days now like this just playing within such this level of support around the 207 is pretty massive right now from the last uh, nine or so days that maybe we'll come back and retest the earlier may lows of around the 180 something handle and then going deeper than that there's a key fibonacci line in at the 160s which is twice pierced well below such two more to go and there will be neo and lumen so let's bring up NEO next on the screen. And within this, we can see that since the decline, which is basically, this is about a 61% retracement from the April lows and the May highs. And it came down originally on May the 10th, had a little bit of resistance at the lows, comes back down to where it was on the May the 10th again on about the 18th. This time it comes to the highs in yesterday's session, but look at how fast it has not only came down to the lows, but is now starting to retreat below. When we take a look at this on a three hour time frame, a very quick 
rejected rally. So that is definitely a bearish signal. It's doing so after it's had a decent support at around uh, a 70 handle. I would be expecting this maybe to come down to uh, retest the 67 handle, but this is also something that was tested quite frequently before, but I'm come I come from the school of thought that there's a better chance that if it comes down here, that it's not going to go down yet. If we don't find support here, don't be surprised to see a very big red candle that would uh, break the 60 handle and maybe even enter towards the 50 handle. And let's finish this off with Lumen. I tried to make this really, really quick. And I guess I made it quicker than I could have. So let's finish it off here. We have, this is an obvious situation in here. You've seen the nice little rally from April. Price action staying well above and remaining above the 18 average of highs. When it uh, had its move on May the 3rd to go uh, back in the span, it took, uh, it was like eight, nine, ten days in a row down. So it didn't support the lows well at all. It did resist it on one, on the 8th. And it had a nice leg lower piercing below the previous low, enough to turn this into a negative declining average. It came up to the 18 highs on the 13th. And how did it react to the such? If it was bullish, you're going to expect that the low bend is going to be an area of support. At least you're going to see a 61.8% correction, if not there. Well, the 18 lows did not do so. And since the decline, which was basically a 61% retracement from this low and this high, it has been uh, three days of just going sideways like this. That's a bearish setup, and now it's starting to break below. It looks as if it's leaving that level of support. If we look at this on a three-hour time frame, we're right at where that key area was. We can see how it's broken down below such. It had its nice red candle down several periods ago. Now this is period number four in a row in which it's just holding and stand like this a very very bearish setup that's looking as if this is uh, ready to go for a leg lower i wouldn't be surprised if it can go down to uh, the 34 handle but even conservatively down to about 36. thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day bye bye